Now, earlier this month, the Department of Health dropped a bombshell when it revealed that the ST6 had been found in Tiger Brands' products. Uh, since then, a massive recall has taken place, and some are calling this one of the largest uh, uh, corporate uh, scandals to face South Africa. <coughs> Joining us now is Noel Doyle, who is the CFO at Tiger Brands, and our reporter, Lubabalo Mashiklana, who has been covering uh, this uh, story very closely for us, uh, joins us as well. And Noel, thanks so much for your time. I mean, you commented coming in the studio saying that you've had better days. I imagine that in a long time it hasn't been the greatest day for yourself and Tiger Brands given what has transpired. Yeah, certainly um, the challenges that we're dealing with at the moment are probably the greatest that the company has ever had to deal with um, in terms of the, the sort of matter that we're dealing with, the seriousness of it. You know, when you're dealing with a matter that, that could actually be related to the deaths of people, that's, <laughs> that's really devastating for the organisation. And obviously, in terms of the financial impact, it's also by far the biggest single incident. I, I would, if you don't mind, just like to correct one small thing from your, from your introduction, which is that the Department of Health has not found ST6 present in any of our products. Mm -hmm. um, the findings were relating to the environment. And in fact, the, the products that were tested by the Department of Health turned up negative for the ST6. So at this point in time, Whilst we found the, the ST6 virus in the environment at one of our four plants that we closed, which is Polokwane, it hasn't yet been found in, in our product. Mm -hmm. But clearly, it remains a huge concern that it would be found in the environment in any of our plants. Mm -hmm. uh, no, let me just jump in there. You guys have halted operations at uh, now, I believe, three of your pro production sites. And... Uh, I think uh, you've made a lot of recalls and you've, uh, you've made another call for further recalls of the products in your Pretoria uh, mm, production site. Now, uh, take us through, I've heard that you are going to now, by the end of this month, close the Clayville Abattoir. <coughs> How is this all going to affect the business financially? Okay, so I think just in relation to the closures, you know, the recall and what we were asked to do on a mandatory basis by the department only affected three products. Um, and we decided to take, you know, absolutely no chances and therefore we closed the first two sites um, immediately and launched a recall of all of those products. And when we picked up Listeria, not ST6, but Listeria, then again we decided to be absolutely on the safe side and recalled everything from the third plant. The financial impact is, is quite significant. The total cost of the recall and that's really just bringing the product back and destroying it and the cost of those products is about somewhere in the region we estimate between 337 million and 377 million. On top of that, for every month that we remain closed in those operations, compared to what we could have expected to have earned um, from that business, we'll probably be down about 50 million rands per month. So depending on the length of the closure, you know, the impact in anybody's money is, is very significant. So tell me, could this lead to any job losses? And uh, also, how many um, class action lawsuits have you guys received so far? So at the moment, we've just uh, received notification of two class action suits, one in respect of illness and one in respect of debts from one firm of attorneys. Um, the job losses, you know, we're quite hopeful that in working with the Department of Health, with the sort of remedial action that we put in place at the plants, that when we do the retesting, um, that we'll satisfy the Department of Health um, and get opened. But there are about 1,600 people um, in our value-added meats division um, who, who are impacted by the suspension of operations. Uh, now, is Tiger Brands doing any clean-up operations to make sure that they are listeria free, you guys are listeria-free? And also, when will operations resume at the, at the production sites that you've temporarily closed? So I think the, the resumption date will really be dependent on us getting the all clear from the Department of Health. I don't think that we're likely to see that, certainly not in the month of March, um, but that really depends on the effectiveness of the work that we do um, and, and what we're really doing in those plants is, you know, we are doing a, a deep cleaning exercise and then we, we're rehabilitating certain areas that have been highlighted 
You know, for example, if you've got a crack in your floor, uh, you know, that could potentially be a, a breeding ground and we've rescreeded our floors, as example, to, to, to cover um, those issues. Now, if I can just jump in there, what do you mean when you say 16,000 employees have been impacted? Six, so we have 1,600 employees in our value-added needs division. All right, so that's 1,600. 1, so they, they're currently not working on So they are currently assisting us with the deep clean work that we're doing. Um, and at this point in time, you know, we have made no cuts to our payroll. And, and, and right now we're not anticipating making any cuts to our payroll. Our focus in that respect is, is to meet the requirements of the Department of Health and get up and running as quickly as, as possible in line with their sanction. And one more for me, quick one. Yeah. Sorry, Lubaba. Yeah. When you say that the department did not find ST6 in your product, but yes. rather in the environment, right. how did it get to the Viennas that I, for instance, bought from Pick and Pay? So, so at this point in time, you know, there is no definitive link. So, so I couldn't answer that question because yeah. the, f the final product has not tested positive for, for ST6. So now let me quickly jump in again. So the company, right, has, in fact, the Department of Health, rather, has said that it found ST6, as you're saying, in your facilities in Bulugwane, which is directly linked to Tiger Brands as a company, yes. right? But however, now, is the company not going to take any responsibility for anything that has happened to maybe the people who got ill from consuming those products that come from that particular site? because we have not heard anything from the company admitting, you know, of, uh, of, of, of what has happened. Should we expect an apology maybe for the company, from the company to the affected parties? So I think what you will definitely see is, yeah, we're going to continue getting to the bottom of this issue. Um, and if, if at some point in time it's shown, you know, that Tiger is responsible for this, for this terrible incident, then you can be sure that, that Tiger will accept its responsibility in, in that regard. Um, you know, we are a large corporate, a responsible corporate citizen, and we won't shirk our responsibility. But uh, as I say, at this point in time, you know, the direct link between sort of ST6 and the environment and the product ha has yet to be proven. Um, we are out of time, and uh, fortunately, uh, just, uh, just one quick uh, one uh, from us here at the desk. Do you think you're being unfairly treated, given that, I mean, it's not only Tiger Brands have this announced, it was RCL Foods as well. No mention of them um, within this entire crisis. Look, I, I think it's inevitable. We are the largest food company probably in the, on the continent, and it, it's, in, it's inevitable that the public um, would focus on the largest food company. We have been named by the Department of Health. We have concurred with the results of their findings in our plants. Um, and therefore, I, I think fairness or unfairness doesn't come into it. As long as we deal with the facts, um, then I think we have no complaints.